What's going on guys, Manny here, back with another Pokemon Go PvP video for you guys, and today I am bringing you my Mirror Cup Kingdom Cup tournament that I participated in last night as I'm recording this video for you guys. So, um, it was four rounds in total, I had a lot of fun, a lot of funny stuff happened to where uh, I really wish I had like a camera to show you guys like exactly what was going on, um, but yeah, it was a fun time overall. So, again, I'll have teams on the left-hand side of the screen so you can see what both people were using. But going into round one here, I start off Bastiodon, he starts off with his Lapras, and uh, this is a, a decent matchup, um, it can go really either way depending on shields, um, but Smackdown is going to be doing a little bit more damage as you can see here, um, he's going to go ahead and charge up his Surf here, which I'm going to shield because obviously that would hurt my Bastion a lot, and I do a little bit of overcharging here, just trying to do as much damage as I can with just those Smackdowns, and then I go ahead and get off a Stone Edge here, which he is going to obviously shield as well, so... Really good call on his part, but he does have another Surf, which I'm going to shield this one as well, um, because again, Surf does hurt, and I'm just going to try to do as much damage as I can um, with SmackDown, and I probably could have finished off uh, the Lapras there with just uh, um, the SmackDowns only, I forgot the name for a sec, um, but he ends up shielding there, and he ends up getting another Surf off me here, um, I don't know if I would have shielded if in his situation, um, as you can see, um, this even though Surf is super effective, uh, my Bastion was still able to take out the Lapras, um, but his Blaziken here is going to take down my Bastion, so, so yeah, so no shields on either side, and uh, right here I bring in Blaziken just because I know he's going to be able to get to a charge move before I could, so I didn't want to throw in Lucario in, and have him run into a, uh, a fire charge move, so go ahead and bring in my Lucario here, take down his Blaziken, and then his last Pokemon is a Bastion, so um, at that point I knew I had the win, um, just because I knew I was going to be able to get off the Power of Punch here, and um, basically finish off the Bastiodon on just fast attacks only before his Bastiodon could uh, get to his Stone Edge or a Flamethrower, which would have been obviously the better choice. So, so yeah, I end up taking game one, going on to game two here, and I believe I'm going to lead with uh, Altaria, if I remember this correctly, which I do. So, uh, lead with Altaria, he leads with Lucario. Again, a good matchup for me. I'm just going to, you know, eat away at uh, Lucario's health. I build up as much energy as I can. He switches to Bastion. I switch into my Lucario. So we just saw how this matchup goes. Um, even with you know him shielding, uh, Lucario does win this. Um, but I also do have to shield the Flamethrower. So, um, so you see there, he uh, blocked the first Power Punch. I'm going to go ahead and shield the Flamethrower here. And then I'm going to just go ahead and proceed to take down his Bastion on just Fast Attacks. He's going to bring in Blaziken. I have a Power Punch ready to go which I believe he's going to shield this one as well, which he does. And uh, I believe he's going to be able to take down my Lucario here on just fast attacks only because um, I did over tap there, so I wasn't able to get my power up punch. And then I bring him back in my Altaria here. I'm going to shield this uh, Blast Burn just because that actually would do a decent amount of damage. And I'm just going to finish off his uh, Blaze Skin there with fast attacks. So now I have two charges ready to go. He brings in Lucario again. So I'm in a good position here. Um, again, because this Power Punch isn't going to do anything. So go ahead and get off the Sky Attack here, which is going to finish off the Lucario. So GG's, I end up taking round one. Uh, again, just having a better lineup does really help. So, um, But yeah, going on to round two here, I'm going to lead with the ba or with the Bastion, with the Bronzong. He leads Lapras. So um, again, this matchup, it can go go either way basically um just depends on who you know when you want to shield if you try to bluff or anything but he switches into lucario um as i go for the bulldoze uh, nah, he's going to end up shielding this here and i'm just going to stay in even though uh these counters are going to be doing quite a bit of damage um i just want to stay in because i know uh, confusion is going to be doing a lot to lucario i'm going to go ahead and shield that power up punch and i'm going to be able to get off a side shock here and um i kind of forgot you see uh, where the uh the move started for the charge move there so um but as you can see i basically almost take out the lucario just with the bronzong alone so here um he's got a uh power up punch ready to go and i decided to let this go through i didn't want to burn another shield there so um because i knew i could take down the uh, lucario on just on one fast attack with blade skin he brings in jinx here which kind of threw me off when i saw his team um but i think he did it just a shiny flex so i don't really blame him for doing so um but right here i'm going to be able to get off a power up punch which uh, he can't shield because he's out of shield, so, and then his last Pokemon is that Lapras again, which I'm able, uh, which I'm going to be able to take out here after I block this Surf, or I was expecting Surf, but it's Ice Beam, but I had the shield anyway, so 
go on, go ahead and get off this power up punch which is going to take down his lapras so i end up taking game one there um again uh, saving that uh, my second shield with uh that uh, blaze skin really did help help me out there so going into game two start out with bronzong and he starts out with blaze again another good matchup for me um because again even though counter does a lot of damage to bronzong as well uh confusion is just it's just really good against uh, both Blaziken and Lucario. So as you can see, I have both moves ready to go. And he brings in Mawa, which again was another one that threw me off. Uh, one I didn't really practice up against at all, along with that Jinx. So go for a Bulldoze. He's going to end up shielding that. I'm just going to do as much damage as I can. Um, his Mawa does beat my Bronzong there. And then here I bring in Blaziken just because I know, uh, again, even though Mawa is part fairy, these uh, steel, these uh Fighting type moves are going to do a lot of damage. He switches to Dragonair. I'm going to go ahead and go with a Blast Burn, which uh, he lets go. I'm, I don't, I think he was expecting a Blaze Kick there, um, but because of that, I'm able to actually take down his Dragonair and get off another facet or another Charge move here against his Mawile. He burns the shield, but I got two shields ready to go and uh, Lucario there. So yeah, so I was in a good position there. So end up taking round two there, going into round three. Um, you guys might remember him from my Twilight Cup here. Um, and it's a Bronzong Mirror match. And again, when this happens, it's just whoever can get to that Bulldoze uh, first will basically win the Bronzong Mirror match. So um, as you can see here, I'm tapping my Bulldoze. I did have charge move priority at, uh, for round one here, or for match one here. Um, so I was able to get to my first. He shields. He's going to follow up with his own Bulldoze. And I'm going to shield as well here. And again, it's just a race to see who can get to uh, the Bulldoze first, basically. So so right here, I'm going to go ahead and get off another one, which I believe he's going to shield this one as well, which would be the right thing to do here, which he does. And uh, he's going to get off his here in a second. Uh, he's overcharging here, which is a smart thing to do. Um, but as you can see, he ends up switching out to Altaria as I'm clicking my Bulldoze. So uh, his Bronzong now does have a charge move ready to go. I go ahead and switch into Bastion, which again, in this matchup, um, I don't need to worry about shielding any of Altaria's moves just because it's not going to do anything to Bastion here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let this Sky Attack go through. Again, it does nothing <laughs> to Bastion. I'm going to finish off this Altaria basically on just uh, Smackdowns only. So again, Sky Attack doing a little to no damage. Um, taking down his Altaria, and then right here, um, you guys will see um, I go for a flamethrower, which is going to do massive damage. Um, but he does survive, so I'm going to go ahead and shield this bulldoze here. Because um, that wouldn't do a decent amount of damage to me. And uh, right here, I take down his, bron his bronzong. But right here, I do make a mistake, and I go for a stone edge, not knowing what he was going to bring out. Um, right there, I should have gone for a flamethrower because that would obviously would have done a lot more damage than what that stone edge did. So, um, it, because of that mistake, um, you guys are going to see what's about to happen here. So, um, he's going to take down my bronzong or my bastion on here. I switch into bronzong, uh, and then I had the switch glitch happen there where I popped up and um, it brought out my Lucario. So, yeah, not the not the best, um, but because of that one mistake using stone edge over flamethrower. It ends up being a draw for for game one so um yeah so again just one easy mistake like that uh made it so we ended up in a draw instead of me possibly winning that match um but yeah so game two here uh start off with the bronzong over blazekin and again uh bronzong does have the uh is the favorite in that match up here i'm gonna go ahead and shield this a uh, charge attack uh, regardless of what it is because again uh blaze kick or blast burn is going to do a good amount of damage to me um, but I end up taking down his Blaziken there. He brings in Lucario. I'm going to try to stay in and just get off a Psy Shock here, which he is going to shield, which is, again, the smart thing to do here. But I am, uh, as you saw there, I do have uh, the potential to get one more Psy Shock off. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this Power Up Punch, um, even though I'm going to be, uh, it's, it's going to hurt, but I am able to get off another Psy Shock here, which uh, he was a little surprised about um, when I was able to get it off. So he's used both his shields. I've used both mine. And uh, he's got a, a powered up Lucario, which again is going to hurt. Um, he's going to go ahead and go off with a power punch here, which is going to take down my Lucario. But because his Lucario is so low, even though he's doing massive damage to my Bastion here, I'm able to take it down and he brings in his Altaria. So again, in this matchup, Altaria 
I don't need to worry about Alterio versus Sebastian. So, and uh, his his uh, expression when he saw my Bastion after I took down Zakaria was hilarious. So, gonna go ahead and get off a Stone Edge here, um, which again he can't do anything about because he used both his shields. And then SmackDown is going to take down Alteria itself. So, I end up winning uh, game two there, and going on to game three. Uh, I believe we're gonna start off with another Bronzong Mirror. So, yep. And again, we know how this goes, uh, but he did have charge move priority at this point, so I knew he was going to be able to get off his bulldoze before I could get mine, unless he would overcharge. Um, but as you see here, um, I make a mistake here. I shouldn't have shielded this because it's a side shock. So he did, uh, he did shield bait me pretty well there. Um, I should have countered better because um, side shock does build up faster than bulldoze. Um, but I'm able to get my bulldoze off here, which he's going to uh, shield again, which is always a smart thing to do in the mirror match against Bronzong. And uh, right here, I just do... I get to my bulldoze again for a second time. So I think he was trying to overcharge. Um, but I think he overcharged a little bit too much there. Um, and again, he ends up shielding that. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this again. Uh, just because I know it is going to be a bulldoze. So, And then right here, I'm able to get off one more bulldoze before we can get to his. And uh, he ended up actually uh, over tapping at that point. He didn't have a bulldoze ready to go. But he was uh, he uh, he over tapped. So he couldn't get it off in time. Uh, he brings in Lucario. And uh, again, this Lucario is going to finish me off. He probably could have saved this Power Up Punch here just because I wouldn't have been able to get my Psy Shock in time. So I end up bringing my own Lucario here. But again, the switch, the switch glitch happened, so I was stuck there. But I bring in Bastion, and then right here, which is actually something pretty funny happened, he ends up quitting. So um, once he saw Bastion come out, he just uh, he quit. He shook my hand, and uh, yeah, that was it for that. So I end up taking round three, going to the fourth and final round here. I start off Bronzong, he starts off Altaria. Um, decent matchup here. Um, Altaria uh, does win this matchup, though. Um, but again, depending on shields, uh, Bronzong could count, could win this um, if he just decided not to really shield any of my attacks here. I'm going to go ahead and shield to that Sky Attack. He's going to go ahead and shield my Psy Shock here, which I believe he does. I don't remember this. Um, yep, he ends up shielding that, so... Um, Gonna go ahead and shield this second sky attack here. And uh, just praying to see if I can get to the second side shock here, um, which I'm able to get to. So, um, and I believe he's gonna let this go through, which is again gonna be the smart thing to do here. So, he does have shield advantage. He brings in Lapras, and I'm just trying to get to this bulldoze uh, before Lapras takes me out, which I'm able to get to. And I'm just hoping to bait his last shield here, but he lets it go through. So, and uh, his Lamp is going to take down my Bronzong. So I'm like, okay, I'm in a good position. I got Lucario still. But again, Surf is going to be doing a good amount of damage to Lucario, as you see right there. He does a lot of damage. And then he switches to his own Lucario to finish off mine. So very smart play. And then unfortunately, all I have left is Bastion. So um, at this point, I knew I was in trouble. Um, goes off and gets his power up punch there. And uh, he's going to obviously take down my Bastion. So. Really good plays on his part. Um, again, just knowing exactly when to switch out was really good. So going on to game two, I start off with the Bronzong. He starts off with Terrio once again, so nothing too different here. And uh, again, it's just me shielding his Sky Attacks. Um, he's going to shield my Psy Shocks. And uh, I did have Charge Room Priority here, but I did want to overcharge a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead again, block the Sky Attack. And I uh, go ahead and go for a Psy Shock here. Um, again, I, I did want to overcharge to possibly get a second Psy Shock before he can get to a Sky Attack. But uh, as you can see here, I'm able to do so. And he did shield the first one. And I was hoping he would shield this one to kind of use his other shield. But he let it go through. And uh, I'm going to, I believe I shield the Sky Attack here. Um, just because I wanted to, you know, preserve my Bronzong's health here. And uh, take down his Altaria. And he brings in the Lapras once again. And right there, I tried to switch to Lucario. Um, but for some reason, it didn't let me go. It didn't. It didn't let it go through. Um, so I just decided to go for a side shot here, which does a good chunk of damage to um, Lapras. Um, but again, kind of in the same boat here. Uh, he's gonna get off a serve. I have no shield, so this obviously is gonna go through. And just like last time, does a good amount of damage. And then he's again he switches out to Lucario. So again, really good plays on his part. I bring in Alterio. So even though Alterio beats Lucario here, um, he does have that Lapras still. So. Again, Power Punch does nothing to Altaria. Able to take down his Lucario on just fast attacks. 
And right here, I go for a Sky Tech, which would have finished off the Lapras, but he does have that extra shield. And at this point, I knew I was just praying that I could finish it off before we can get to a charge move um, because I know this is going to be an Ice Beam coming. So it is going to take out Molyteria, which is going to have me go 3-1 in this tournament. So, um, But it ended up being a five-way tie, um, which was actually pretty hilarious. So um, the way we decided to see who would win the uh, custom pin that we had for the Mirror Cup, which I will put on screen right now, um, the way we decided to see who would get that pin was we played an intense game of rock, paper, scissors, which I ended up winning. So, yeah, so that was pretty funny. I really wish someone would have been recording that, but, you know, maybe next time. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new and you came across this video just by random chance, maybe by searching up Mirror Cup stuff through YouTube and you saw this and watched the video and you did like what I what I produced for you guys, um, please uh, feel free to subscribe as well as it does mean a lot to me knowing that I made uh, that I made content that someone wants to watch more of. So again, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy.